arrived. I'm just going to clean you up a bit. How do you feel? Do you remember what happened? Happened? Last night. Lights. A car? A car. You see, we found you. Lying by the roadside near here. It must have been a hit and run driver. Are you hungry? Hungry, yes. Then we'll feed you. Would you like to get up? Where are my clothes? I've washed them. I'll bring you breakfast in bed, and then I'll iron everything. Perhaps you'd like a bath? Right in here. Mr. Soames? Yes. John Soames? John Soames. You're wanted for attempted murder, Mr. Soames. Who tried to kill a man? You hurt him very badly. Nicholas hurt me. He... He... Locked you up? Alice. I think you ought to stay here for a day or two. Until you're really well and able to go. Do you understand what I'm saying? they did to you. But I'm sure you never wanted to hurt anybody. And I'm not going to tell the police. Because it was my useless, drunken husband who knocked you down. He's a lot more dangerous than you are. And I can't remember the time. He was half as gentle as your being. speaking. Go ahead. Phone call from Mr. Richard Bannerman, 22 Folland Drive. You tell them what? I just said we found him injured in the road. It puts us in the clear, you see. Now keep him there. The police are on their way. We have to hurry. The police are coming. Hurry? Where? To the Institute. We have to get you back to your doctors before the police arrive. No. No more Institute. My husband has the car. I'll take you by train. The station's at the bottom of the road. I know you don't understand. Poor John. Please, trust me. I'll get my coat. You stay here.
John? John Soames. and a penny for that. Stops 15 miles down the line, sir. Soames was definitely on it. Yes, sir. Was anyone with him in the same compartment? They didn't know that, sir. Let them know he's coming. <laughs> 